Have you ever heard of PFAS or the Forever Chemical? Well, if you haven't, let me give you a little bit of a background. PFAS is a man-made chemical that has been used by companies for decades. Companies use this in the manufacturing process to give properties such as water repellent or oil repellent. So they use this in the manufacturing process for most of the consumable goods we use. Non-stick frying and cooking ware, your styrofoam cups, your to-go boxes, makeup has PFAS, dental floss, band-aids. Basically every consumable item we use potentially has PFAS in the manufacturing process. So these companies, as they dispose of the PFAS, what has been uncovered is that whether they dispose of it legally or directly into the waterways, the chemical is leaching into our rivers. Now, recent medical science has shown that there is a link between PFAS and causing cancer. In fact, PFAS is known as an endocrine system disruptor. So it disrupts organs and glands in your body related to hormones. So estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, growth hormone, all of the organs and the glands affected by hormones can be affected by PFAS. And so certain specific types of cancers have been shown to be caused by PFAS. These include thyroid, liver, pancreas, kidneys, your reproductive organs, so testicles, uh, prostate, ovarian, endometrial. It even causes ulcerative colitis. Now, these are the specific cancers that have already been shown to be linked to PFAS, and more and more cancers are being shown. If you had to guess as a percentage how many Americans have PFAS in their blood right now, what would you guess? If you guessed 99% of Americans have PFAS in their bloodstream, you would be correct. Studies have shown that almost 100% of us have PFAS in our blood. I probably have it, you probably have it, your family members, your friends probably have PFAS in their blood. Our litigation is surrounded around helping you all, those families affected by cancer, try to recover as to these companies that may have discharged PFAS into the waterways. My law firm does this at no cost to our clients. We work entirely on what's called a contingency basis. So we bear all the costs of working up the case and representing our clients. This includes ordering and uh, acquiring the medical records, hiring the experts, doing the investigation and analysis, identifying the companies we might be able to pursue, and ultimately executing that claim on your behalf.